it's Melanie and welcome back to my channel I Heart Stitching. Today I'm going to teach you how to make one of these really great key fobs. I have tested out a couple of different types of interfacing and kind of figured out my favorite way to make these. They are a perfect scrap buster project, really inexpensive. Um, you, know, you can use your scraps of fabric, scraps of interfacing, and this hardware is really inexpensive. You can get that really easily online. So let's jump right in. I'm going to show you all the steps on how to make this. Okay, so here is our fabric, a three and a half inch by 10 inch piece of cotton or linen will work as well. And then here's some thicker interfacing, kind of a, a medium stiffness interfacing. And this is a piece of fusible fleece. It doesn't have to be fusible, but I always have scraps of that on hand. And then there's some hardware. I'll tell you where to get that. Now you wanna fold your piece of cotton in half lengthwise and then you're going to press to get a nice good crease um, exactly in half um, this is for a key fob hardware that is a one and a quarter inches wide this the measurements will all be different if you have a slightly different key fob hardware measurement then you want to place your stiffer piece of interfacing and then the piece of fleece on top i just like the cushy kind of appearance that the fusible fleece gives to this look. Um, obviously you can kind of play around with it and adjust the interfacing as you know as you like. So then I'm going to iron up this little, uh, it's a little bit more than a quarter inch of fabric. Just iron that, get a nice good crease there. And then I'm going to iron on the other side about the same amount a little bit more than a quarter of an inch and then you're gonna fold it over to meet it to the other side and this is where you can make any adjustments um, make sure that it has a perfect fit all the way to the other side and it doesn't um, overlap or anything like that double check your hardware make sure that everything is uh, the right size give it a nice good press and then I like to use these clover clips and clip the entire um, little sandwich of fabric and interfacing together so that um, it's easy to work on as you go over to the machine. Now, once you go over to your machine, then I used my presser foot. Here's another presser foot from another machine. And I just sort of ballpark it about an eighth of an inch from the side. You wanna make sure to catch um, that folded fabric that you pressed to make sure everything is nice and sealed. I use a slightly larger stitch length, about a three, and a coordinating thread. Then I do the same thing on the other side and all together I used four different stitches going all the way down. So just try this out on your machine and see what works best. Now go over to the ironing board and give it a nice good press. And here you can kind of see what mine looks like. Next thing you wanna do is trim off your ends. Now what I like to do when applying the hardware is double check the size and then pinch it slightly closed ahead of time. It just makes it a little bit easier. It stays on the fabric a little bit better when you're trying to finish pinching it all together with those needle nose pliers and use a piece of batting so that you don't scratch any of the metal. Put it on all the way and then that's it. You're all set. Okay guys, that's it. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. If you have any questions, be sure to leave me a comment below and a bunch of more of the details will be in the description box. So if you missed any of the measurements or um, if you want some written out instructions, that will all be in the description box below. So be sure to check that out. And thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.